I'm just kidding. I'm not ready. Oh, God, we're on. Okay. I'm just kidding. I know we're on. What's up, guys? I'm John Hopwood. Uh, my back hurts, so I can't be here. So I brought Kyle Clayton with me. Hey, how are you? It's our show again today. And we have a... Uh, we have uh, not, yeah, we have nothing. We're going to wing it, but it's going to be funny. What do you mean we don't have nothing? We have, we have Kyle in the back. This, is, have, this is yeah. an all-star cast right now. We're going to do great. I assume so, yeah. Um. Welcome to Manchester Public Television. <laughs> <laughs> right? Day of fun. Oh, it's going to be a great day. Great night. It's lovely outside. I don't oh know if you, God, Kyle, have you been out there lately? I took a quick uh, little stroll up to the Bridge Cafe. Big fan of that place. It's a gorgeous day. A bit breezy still. It's Elm Street, but uh, that sunshine is uh, it's picturesque. Picturesque. I love that. Yeah, he's good. He, he, he's uh, real good. Me and Kyle, he did a baseball game together. Uh, we did the Central West um, versus Memorial game, and uh, so li- this is what I understand. Listening to it, it, it was quite, it was quite amazing how good I at it I am. You are pretty. You, you're a natural. Right. I mean, I'm an artist, so I might as well do color commentary. But different sports are sp- like so some. It's, it's some. It's Central West. Some it's Central Memorial. So yeah. much more. How do how do we? I think what happens is Memorial had enough kids to make a team, so they got a team. I think Central and West didn't, so they're like rather than cancel the season, like th- like Central had to cancel hockey a couple years ago. That sucks. And not uh, a deal. So now what they do is they just whoever plays sports nowadays <laughs> can play sports. You don't even have to try out really. You just say I'm a sports guy now. Do kids not play sports anymore? I don't think they play sports anymore. Kyle, do they play sports anymore? It's been a very interesting co- past couple of years here where lacrosse is all three schools for the guys, but then for the girls, it's Memorial West, and then Central has their own team. For softball, West and Trinity have combined to make one team, while Memorial and Central have combined to make one team. And then for baseball, as you just said, yes, it's uh, it's it's – you know, basically Memorial by themselves and then Central West together. Hockey was all three schools combined. Wow, what the hell, man? I remember... Wait, we even brought Trinity into this? Yeah, I, I, Trinity is kind of a weird spot where they really only have 300 kids, but yet their basketball team won the, like, D2 or D3 championship this year. So, but basketball, they're all by themselves because that's really one of their better sports. Well, that's the difference with uh, with private schools because you can recruit kids. They don't have to be in your district, right? Correct. Okay, so yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I, I grew up with a girl in Pembroke who, uh, instead of going to the academy with me, she decided that she wanted to go to Trinity. So, you know, if your family has money and you're kind of smart, and, you know, it's much uh, more uh, lucrative, I guess, and interesting to go to a, a private school. I like how you call it the academy. You know, I, it's something that... Uh, I, when I moved away, and when people hear that you went to an academy, they think highly of you. I, I immediately did. I, I said I liked that. What about, we just went to Central. So when I moved to Des Moines. Bro, was, what? Would you say Central is not just go to Central? No, but it's not the academy, uh, dude. Well, it's the bomb.com. Yeah, we did pretty well. Well, we had tryouts and stuff. We didn't have kids just that's, walking on. That's the thing. Like, how? Oh, my God. I remember the stress of making the team. Like, You'd have to, like, be in eighth grade and, like, trying to impress the coach. You have to go to Schubert football camp just to, like, <laughs> like pay for it as a kid just to get, like, your name out there. And now they're combining Central and West baseball. I remember there'd be 50 kids trying out, and they'd throw the names on the on the wall who, who made the team. Sanderson would write it in his little calligraphy. Yeah. And uh, it was a nerve-wracking day, you know, like. Well, there's like, well, it's not just one day. There's, there's multiple days, multiple cuts. Like, what's going on? There's two days, two days in one day. Don't forget that either. I want answers. I want to know why your kids aren't playing sports because it's literally my generation's kids it's, not playing sports. It's the iPads. It's, Is you're, it? You're contributing to it right now. Yes. Yep. There's no amount of gamers out there now that can make money off of YouTube and uh, yeah, it's it's it hurts my. Are they making money on YouTube? They're though? making a lot There's of money. There's a 12 year old who just made 16 million dollars by winning the Fortnite game. But that's like one, yeah, that's the dream, but like in, in all reality, like is that why they're not playing youth sports? Is that why parents yes. aren't whipping their ass and being like, get in the game? 
16 million for 12 years. Yeah, 16 that's, million dollars. That's a guy that he's probably great at it. Like, Gentlemen, if I'm being honest, I don't think between the three of us we'll ever have 16 million dollars in our entire life earnings. If I'm being honest. If you si- play Powerball tonight. There you go, buddy. Good luck. <laughs> you never know, later. bro. Like, I did well. I married nice, and you could marry nice. Yeah, I tried that. Like in Cocktail Coglin, Doug Coglin married nice. All right, well, I mean, I'm not quitting on myself, but $60 million is $60 million. If I don't have to do suicides um, and I can just pick up a controller, I'm going to and get $60 million. Oh, you mean like that. working out, right? Like yes, the correct. Yep. Thing, yeah. It's also when a third, uh, me and Kyle would know this from the Central <laughs> Memorial game, when a runner on third steals home and the batter gets the ball down with a bunt. <laughs> That's called a suicide, suicide squeeze. squeeze. Yep. Yes, I'm yep. very familiar. I watch sports. I, well, I, I, I played the sports. I'm not a youth. Oh, you did? You you played uh, cross country, right? I played cross <laughs> <laughs> For people who can't catch and throw, isn't it? I played lacrosse. Oh, you did? For Central? Correct. I played soccer. Nice, dude. For Central. Oh, you did? Nice. Thanks, bud. You wouldn't know it. I did actually run for, for Central. You didn't smoke butts back then. Yeah. Irrelevant. You did? You smoked butts while playing cross country? Yeah, it was a pretty cool guy. So let's not worry about that. Yeah, yeah. So, but that's, that's it's just an infuriating thing right there. I need, yeah, I need you guys to get, just say, hey, go to the bat, go to Mel's tee off. Yep. Put some money into the economy. Yeah. Get a bucket of balls. Go, Don't go to the fast one. You'll, you'll look silly. But if you follow one off on the fast one, you look cool. Um, Dude, just get your kids active. What's going on? I don't get it. Well, let, let's offer some incentives. Actually, let's let's pick a ball up, we bro. Need bring, we need to bring Letterman jackets back. Yeah, number one, clearly. Because I I think there's when I was there, they just had you wear the jersey, and you don't want to wear your gross smelling jersey. You want a sweet Letterman's jacket. Yeah, because then you got to give it like back in my day, you'd give the jersey to a cheerleader. Yeah, the head cheerleader. I know, and that's well, not the head cheerleader. Well, maybe not for you. <laughs> you probably got like a base cheerleader. <laughs> he just got bottom. a regular cheerleader, yeah. No, like the but I played football. Sturdy so. though, sturdy. I, like I played football, and was the man. But was he? Were you good? I was amazing, dude. Kyle, can you look up Michael's stats from um, his high oh, school? Oh, <laughs> <I'm on it. laughs> mess around and try it. <laughs> I don't know. I said that wrong. No, that's bro. That's I good. played three fumbles. No, <laughs> no, I wasn't on offense. Nice try. I was a I was a DB. He was a weak safety. <laughs> strong safety. Oh, um, strong safety. Yeah. Actually, me and, uh, I don't know if you know the name, uh, Ryan Day. You ever hear of him? Sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah. he's, uh, he's kind of doing yeah. well. Yeah. Way better than us. Yeah. He was my quarterback, and uh, we played defense together. And then when he got really good at quarterback, coach moved him from safety to quarterback. That's where I got to start. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so I backed him up. Uh, I mean, he, he, yeah, he was always a natural athlete, but but uh, me and Pincus, Matt Pincus, we crushed it, dude. We got eight picks. Did you win? Did you Bro, win we won the state championship. We beat Pinkerton. Nice, dude. We beat Merrimack, actually, because Pinkerton, uh, the other academy, Pinkerton didn't get it done. They were undefeated, and uh, we lost one game. That That is a blemish. Now, and then Central just took over from there. I mean, the 2000s were like, wow. And they had Sloan Russet and, um, oh, my God, so many people. <laughs> you, you guys know who they are. Well, like, <laughs> I, 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 like 10, 20 years. Like, crushed. they just crushed it. Like, they, they, there's a reason the Gill Stadium is now Jim Schubert Field at Gill Stadium. But it's now two we're Schubert references. Now we're merging teams? Like, what is yeah, dude. Like football, it seems like they got it together. Like, right, kind of like no one's merging on football, right? No, everyone's still uh, the same. Okay. You still got the West D two and the Central Memorial D one. D two. Because I'll tell you what, <laughs> football is like the hardest sport to play, and I'm surprised that that's the one they turn out for. Baseball is a breeze. It's great. Well, again, you have all the glory. You get the glory. Get the glory. Seriously. Get the girl. Yeah, it works. You didn't play football, huh? With your stature. I could have. I could have been a scat back. You could have. I could have been a. I don't know. Inside res- wide receiver or something. You would have been, those, a, the slot. been a practice dummy. I would have been a practice. There's no way you would even. You would have been really, so shifty, Michael. You would, you would never even got a like a dummy hand hero, on it. The guy who tries too hard. I could have the, just uh, crawled under your legs and been gone. You wouldn't even know. Right. I wouldn't even known. I was just getting interceptions, baby. 
But yeah, I played football. Yeah, so I was good at that. I was good <laughs> at baseball. I was a goalie for hockey. Not that great at hockey. Um, but made the team, tried out. You know, this is what's crazy about it. Like, there were still kids getting cut off. Like, there's only, there's no JV hockey team. So to make the team as a freshman is like. Is that true? Hard, yeah, there's no JV. I no one plays ho- hockey's wicked expensive. It is. So is lacrosse. It's the sticks, I think. I think it's the sticks. You're right. Yeah, the, the sticks. No, no. Tra- ho- if you're any good at hockey, you end up being on a travel team. That's where the money comes in. That's oh, I could never. You no, know, it was all rec leagues for us. Yeah. That's weird, too, because you're Clayton. No, the lower tier, remember? Did you get, yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get preferable treatment because your name was uh, John Clayton's nephew? That is actually my government name. <laughs> John Clinton's nephew, yeah. Now, let me see this mohawk, bro. Can you zoom in on this thing, Kyle? It's been seen, like, a lot now. I know, but I, you're on television now. Kyle! It is. What am I zooming in on? No, Sorry. don't worry about and it. I, I wanted to see his um his haircut. His haircut? Okay, please hold. Yeah, we got, guys, we're doing great. Yeah, we already killed 17. Kyle, what are the reviews at? Th- 3,400 okay. right now? Look, Good. Nice. Nah. <laughs> Zooming, bro. Look at that. Nice, dude. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal, guys. You look good, man. I'm proud of you. Look well, it's because I'm business right now. Turn left. Turn left. Let's... All right. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. Wow. wow. All right. That's now, really let's, close. Let's check out the other side. Ooh, doggy. Yes, sir. Wow. Um, and I do this for me. I do this for you guys, okay? I guess, I I, guess do me, because I want to see what that... No, means. I do this for Manchester. No, I want, I want the zoom in. Well, yeah, but you look sweaty. Do I? Never mind. I'm greasy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't zoom in on me. So wait, what? What? Oh God, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Yeah, I would too. Yeah, I do. So what? What was Hoppus' excuse again for um, not joining us today? His back hurt. Um, so he. I think what happened, and I, I can attest to that. When you're an artist, he's an artist. He's a writer. When you're in that zone, it's really hard to get out of it. So I think he was pumping out pages like Angela Lansbury and Murder, She Wrote. And uh, you know how he is. (laughs) What a babe. Oh, right? (laughs) Top 10 all time. All time? Angela Lansbury? You want me to Google her? Top 10 all time. No, but you know what? What if my back hurts from carrying the station, doing all these shows? we're doing We're doing free shows. That's... Not very humble of you. That's not humble at all. My my back just hurts in general. We had a long uh, Mother's Day weekend. I hope oh all the mothers God. out there. You want to do old or young Angela <laughs> Lansbury here? I'm gonna start out with young. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, like, I mean, it happens to everyone. Everyone gets old, right? But that's that's true. That's how time works. Yeah. Man, oh man. Oh, I had the uh, bullet point as a. Uh, there's some milliard museum. For somebody news. who that like literally never leaves your hand, the iPad, you have no idea where anything is. You have no idea what's going on. Oh, that's because it shifts it on me all the time. The Wait, iPad shifts it can on you. Can you get in on that, dude? Do you mind? It's not going to work. Why? He does this all the time. Kyle. Dude, just watch. It's not like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, stop, Dad. You're right. I mean... <laughs> wow. Knockout. I mean, it's seven... Pretty eyes. Young Angela Lansbury. Let's go to old one now. Or and we again, you guys can uh, be the judge. And free, free feel to call in at any time. Oh, please do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Conzo, can you give them the number, please? 640-3091, area code 603. The lovely state of New Hampshire. So is that, and then there's this, if you don't mind. <laughs> Still top 10. I mean, you know, she... she <laughs> She holds it well. Yep. I hold mean, it. Hold hold it. Wow. She never gets it wrong. She's always coming in and getting the job done. Do you even know how this how this segue happened? Um, we were talking about John Hopwood typing a lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> also top ten. Oh yeah. For Tom, sure. Yeah. I think he uh, Grown up, it was like end of murder she wrote into Monday Night Raw. That's right. Oh, yo, the tail end of the, the series, yeah. Oh, yeah, you got to watch her find the culprits and be the... Oh, yeah, look at this. She was in Monday Night Raw? Oh, 
Uh, you can see the defeat in her eyes, yeah. Um, no, there's optimism. He knows that she's going to be outdone by wrestling after this. I think so, yeah. Uh, no, wrestling was weird Triple for a H, while. Stone Cold, The Rock. Uh, that yeah, it was the Attitude Era. It was, it was very tough to compete with. Well. Sorry, Angelo. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, I was a Nitro guy. I really was. You <laughs> look like a Nitro guy. Yeah, he right? was. I like DDP. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty cool. A Sting, also. Huge yoga fan, though. Oh, Is Stings? Oh, I, oh, talk about DDP, right? Oh, yeah. He's he's actually made more money off of yoga than he did ever with wrestling. What yeah. do you mean he makes, like, he, he teaches classes? He he's saved, been an instructor for years. He saves what? lives. He saves Jake, Jake the Snake's, Robert's uh, life. How? From a snake? Ian Damien. How? What do you do? I don't know. I guess Damien died and he brought him back with mouth to mouth. Oh, that's very courageous of him yeah but no he's a big guru on health diamond dallas page there's a documentary on it i'm sure you've seen it that's why you mentioned it the diamond cutter um kyle I'll get your secret admirer to buy you some ddp yoga thank you i appreciate that i still have to post my on un my unveiling so thank you to my we get a lot of secret admirers kyle you got a lot of secret admirers oh, I have we, yeah. girl for valentine's day ruined you uh that was not ideal no that was a long day for me yeah i uh oh when you ate the thing I'm going to eat the, the hottest, wasn't even the hottest chip in the world, fun fact. It, that was middle tier of, because they make multiple levels. So that was, yeah, that was have a, like. Have you guys watched or heard of Ted Lasso at all? I have heard of Ted Lasso. All right, so it's uh, Jason, uh, I can't think of his name right now. Statham? No, not, I almost said it because it's right, Statham. And uh, he becomes a, a soccer coach in England. And uh, there was an episode the other night that I watched where, he went out to this restaurant and said, yeah, I ordered the hottest thing. And it made me uh, think of you because he um, had the same reaction. Like, oh, oh, it's not that. Okay, okay, I'm not doing so hot. I, I did not know you shouldn't eat it all in one bite as well. I, you know. I should have read. I didn't expect it to actually, like, be consumed in a matter of five minutes after you, you know, got it. So Again, this is only the third hottest chip. There's, <laughs> there's two more, but... um. I went with confidence, and I that was all eradicated immediately. I, I will do anything for views. I don't yeah, know you guys know this. That. No, I'll do that. We were gonna tattoo uh, Kyle today. <laughs> I guess it's illegal to do um, freelance tattoos on camera or something. Whoa. Yeah, we were gonna Whoa. tattoo him and uh, you know get a few more views that way. Whatever I have to do. Yeah, we've been doing. We've been filling in the. Um, you know, filling in the entertainment for the morning show being on. Uh, oh, that's why you. Hi, it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we go out. We get tons of views, hundreds, and uh, dozens. Kyle was gonna get a tattoo today, and we didn't know how to work the machine. It would have been fun, but then <laughs> the guy whose house it was was like, "Nah, I don't think it's a good idea." Which we're. We don't know if it's. Is it actually illegal? I don't know. But yes, I will do anything for a view. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a proud man. Um, I'm not a proud man. Should we, like, Why, what do you got? look into a lawyer and call them up right now? No, it's fine. We'll Why, do you know any lawyers in Manchester? Uh, I haven't had to handle deals. I got lawyers. Yet, but, you, know. you, think, you think the big guy would take the call? The one with just letters in it? <laughs> that has a show later? Um, we'll try it out. I Guys, all right, get J.K. on the line, please. Guys, we're ask her forgiveness, not permission, kind of people. Okay. Yeah, I don't know his number. I could Facebook message you. <laughs> it's great. Everyone has everyone's number nowadays. I have, I have a lot of people like a, a concerning about important people's so, numbers now. So this is breaking news. This guy, this is a real piece of work. Police in Manchester are seeking the public's help identifying a man in connection with an alleged sexual assault in the city. A woman called around 8 in the morning, it's about a week ago or so, or so, to report a man she didn't know, followed her home from Seven Days Market on Union Street. And I don't want them to get a bad rep because that's a good market. It's a great bodega. Um, they were both shopping, came up and just grabbed her in a sexual manner. While she was walking home. What? Yeah, they were both shopping. And he did it at the place. Oh, I had heard. No, of no, that. followed her home. You're right. I Thank you. <laughs> followed her home. Yeah, this was in the street. You know how you know how I get information around, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> <And> <laughs> poor, uh, poor what's tricks, it? Bro. Poor what's her name? Please don't laugh. And uh, investigators later spotted the man on surveillance. 
doing that you know what is that when you grab a girl in a sexual manner probably like cuddle up i, I assume it's, it's kissing the neck probably roping of some sort i think Not it would ideal. be like i don't know like if I, I like you were do you want to put do you, you want to do an example i don't want to be the right, guy that's right. wrong but i would say it'd be like a hug i that's very generous of you um this is a maybe i love you or something what time was it set in the morning bro it's 8 a.m that's way too early for that eight in the morning that's, like, uh, there's no appropriate time right <laughs> this guy's up already i feel like this guy has not been asleep for a long time but so how did she just yeah she just kind of snuck away from him or yeah so you're not really elaborating on the rest well no we paused for comment okay yes you're right um, investigators later spotted the man wearing a purple crown royal shirt what okay i'm good oh that's not me <laughs> <laughs> they say he was wearing a black ball cap pants in a sweater. <laughs> well, good thing you don't have pants Good on. thing he's wearing pants, because most people there do. There is surveillance footage if you want to pull up the picture. Yeah, yeah. pull up the picture. Um, I have it right here. Are you ready? Yeah. I didn't know if um, Jennifer Vaughn would mind if we use her voice, but... Oh, you're going to do the audio, too? Yeah, we're not. Oh, we'll get the whole thing. Yep, we're... Well, that's Jennifer Carlson. Hold on, I got... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it might be, yeah, you, we got this guy. We're really spoiling you guys. So it's an ad. Yeah, there's an ad. Only <laughs> no... Only Gonzo knows New Hampshire like we do. That's true. He's he's in the trenches, Kyle. Oh gosh, dang it! You didn't even pay. Like we don't we don't have enough money to spend on the non ads. Why do you have footage there, Brent? Uh, Brent. <laughs> Kyle. Uh, I'll try to find it. Yeah. So I'll just read on. Um, so the guy. All right. The guy's described as a light-skinned Hispanic or black man is described as being that's a very wide heavy range. set clean and well capped light oh not skinny okay light okay not light okay so he's light skinned well clean and heavy so he's a bigger guy um i'll pull up the info yeah. yeah and policeman police said the man visits the store quite often and lives in the area so we don't know this guy Anyone with information about the man is asked to call the police at 603-668-8711 or Manchester Crime Line at 603-624-4040. Well, and, and also, don't... Uh, this, is on, this isn't what the story says, but this is my advice. They say don't approach him. I would approach him. I would say, what are you doing, buddy? Dressed, dressed as is? Like, get it together, man. Like, so, but and, then, and then call the police if anything bad happens. So this is a man who frequents the store often. He's always there, yeah. He's always there. He lives in the area. That's they don't know move. who he is. He wears pants. Yep. Well, you know we're bunnies, guys. So, um, yeah. We're per personally... Great time there yesterday. What's that? Great time there yesterday. Oh, what a blast. Had a nice time buying some monsters. How many monsters? God, you drink monsters? It's, that's a stereotype for us. Come on, man. You know what? It, it made me through to be happy to film uh, the Owen 5 Belmont Bobcats versus the Owen 7 Trinity Pioneers female lacrosse game. That must have been a barn burner right there. Dude, you're so lucky. Barn burner. <laughs> you you want to take a guess of the final score? Owen 5 versus Owen 7. 3-0. Uh, she says she was leaving, was walking home when a man she did not two. know wow. came up behind her and touched her in a sexual way. Take a look at this. This is a picture from surveillance video showing the suspect's door. And is described as Hispanic or black and heavy set. He's wearing a black ball cap, pants, sweater, and a face mask. Police say this man is known to visit the store often and probably lives close by. If you know who this person is, you're asked to contact Manchester Police. Live in Manchester, Grace Feinerman, WMUR. Do you know her, Kyle? Grace? Uh, very well, yes. She's pretty cute. <laughs> Is she not? I don't know. What is she not? I was listening to the news. I was not looking at that. Yeah, I know. You, you're you right. Sorry. Grow up. <laughs> do you recognize that guy? Um, I do not. He was very well disguised, if I'm being honest. That was also a very kind of grainy um uh, So picture. it sounds to me like whoever says, oh, yeah, he's in here all the time, and he's light-skinned, Hispanic. So you got to know his black, name. You must know him. Not t saying the guy at the store does, but someone knows what's going on. You guys got to call Jeff Nyan. 
immediately. Because <laughs> that's the crime line. That's his direct line? You know what I'm missing? Crime line. <laughs> But Dude, no, uh, uh, get okay. it together. Like, oh, not like this hush hush culture right now, guys. Kids aren't playing sports. We have that tragic story about the little girl. We have this now. People are groping people Mark at Gunner, Alexander's. Yeah. And now it's like, it's called Alexander's. what's next, bro? Like, Hannaford, what? Stop it. Like, come on, guys. Like, nip it in the bud. When you go out to a girl, you don't approach her in a sexual manner. You approach her with a gentleman's manner, and you say, "Hey, what do you like? You come here a lot, or whatever. Like, yeah, you know where the scratch ticket place is, or whatever. You you you, you hit them with an opening line that's effective." You also, the uh, the <laughs> son of the owner of USA Chicken being sentenced yesterday. I don't know if you guys remember that oh, from May tenth. Yeah, the shooting. Correct. Yeah, he. Uh, you know, very uh, angry with a former employee and shot him three times. It was right outside of USA. Chicken yeah. And, um, they gave him one year sentence, and if he completes anger management treatment and completes no violent disciplinary for the five years he's in jail, he'll be released in four. So, because they've already given him one year of free trial confinement. So he has to do a year, correct? He's already done a year. Oh, he did a year. He will do at least four more. Um, if he screws up. Unless he screws up. If not, he's in for 10 to 20. Oh, okay. So he's doing four more years. So he's doing five. Yes. Wait, that was last year? Yeah, you uh, can't You can't just get mad and shoot people, you know? Like, that's right up. That's on my That's my street. I live there. But I'll tell you what. I heard the guy was talking about his sister. So that's a tough one. Yeah, yeah you know. I mean, but maybe go, like, just Family two, first, three notches, but two yeah. notches down, three notches the guy down. The shot actually was... Uh, went and was w- was a witness in this case, and he said, "I baited him like a Louisiana catfish." <laughs> is that a verbatim, Kyle? <laughs> that is what. I, yeah, I'm reading the story to you guys right now. Um, I gotta use that more often. Yeah, that's I've not bad. Used it myself. I guess I've, I've only been to Louisiana for like 72 hours. So I've I've honestly never baited a catfish before. I I don't know if you use bread or worms. I, I think you use your 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 finger, right? Wow. And you just scoop them up. Like with your hand, oh, yeah, yeah. I know what you're like you yeah. make the your worm, yeah, your finger worm. I would yeah. love that. Right. So he baited him he, with a worm at the chicken place. I mean, yeah. he's lucky he didn't kill the guy. I mean, I very much so. Well, you don't. Okay, so I bet he pulled the gun out. He's like, I'm gonna shoot you, and he like chickened out and shot him in the leg because he was so mad. Ooh, this this it's uh, it got uh, very racist. Yeah, that, that that's sad to hear. Um, it's one thing that we won't tolerate on this show. That's for absolutely damn sure. not. But um, so yeah, I know the. Um, I actually don't know the the employee. I mean, I was. Ooh, this is bad. All right. Yeah. I, what? Go ahead. I don't really want to say it on air. It's, it's All right, I'll do it. Like, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. We'll blame it on Hopwood. I mean, I'm, no. It's. Yeah, your yeah, dad. yeah. Just yeah, tell. Him, yeah, you know, if you guys want to read up on it, what is it on MUI or something? Manchester Inkling, great job, Karen Robodeau and uh, Andy. You guys do a good job of trying to get the information out uh, for the local community. So Maybe Carol will call in and help us out with that one. Um, it's tough when you're reporting a story. You got to give the facts, and sometimes the facts can be a little ugly to read. You know. Yeah, um, and Carol's not going to fudge the facts. We're not doing that. <laughs> Oh, a contributor, right? Uh, yeah. He, he's got his little, uh, Your little badge. Figure thing on the, I don't know. Does he really? I I, yeah, how do you get one of them? And Jeffrey Hastings with the pictures. How do you get a, a, a little check thing? I'm getting right at that point, I feel like. You guys aren't VIPs, are you? I feel like I'm at the point now where I deserve a Manchester check mark. For sure, I mean. So, another story. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, well, you know, I think the pun. What do you think? I think it's a. I think it's a fair sentence. I don't know. I would agree. Uh, three, Five years is a lot, but it's th- not. Three shots is uh, that's excessive. I I kind of you know anger management is obviously something you can't just be shooting people. And you can't do that, Kyle. You just can't. You can't do that. But it's his sister. That's I know, but different. it's Elm Street. Yeah, you're right. It is Elm Street. 
But I can't I do that because if you miss, you would have, you know, could have easily shot it. Yeah. You know. Me? That's true. That's yeah. another year, I would say. Uh, it's it's cre- possible to have a gun and not know the, the laws. I mean, right. who am yeah. I to say? I, I don't know the laws, and you know, I've shot some guns, not at people, but. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I hush, hush up back there. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I've, uh, I've hit some right. It's fun to do. I was at that scene, uh, not to drop names, but I was with a certain Matt Connerton and uh, Jenny Coffee. We were going to get drinks after the Matt Connerton show, and all of a sudden I hear, pow, pow, pow. I'm like, get down, Jenny, and I jumped on her. I saved her life. And then Matt was coming next, and I told her as a joke that he, he probably got hit, and she didn't like that. Um, but everyone was fine. But I was right there, and I couldn't believe how quickly the police arrived on the scene. So this was what time? In fact, I was used in the Inkling as a contributing photographer on that story. If you go, I'll, I'll do it for you. It was 6.15. 615 my story checks out another another sunlight crime going no, on. it was unbelievable it was scary like wow that happened like you know of course you know every talk show's dream is to get you know shot like you know f- to be infamous not to be like killed that's not but, my dream but to be shot you know and nope it's not my dream and to be you know in the papers a couple times like, anything for review you know nope so, but yeah, I guess Matt dodged a bullet on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I didn't dodge a bullet on the tab at Blue Aqua. Oh, jeez, with that high. Oh my gosh, $75 for two drinks and a bunch of food and a couple yeah, more drinks. Okay. But that, you kind of have me, I was very <laughs> to know what this drink was. I will not be ordering that. It's like a huge fish no, bowl, It's I actually a good place. It's a good place. Does it have a, uh, like... Swedish fish in it or anything? Oh, that would be that sounds very enticing. But no, it's I think they just take everything from the top shelf. They actually have um, mixing like a, a witch's brew. It's a mix and, of uh, it's a mix of girls. I don't know why you call girls fish, but um, <laughs> it's a mix of crowd there. What are you talking about? So, what are you looking up right oh, now? Oh yeah, yo bro, like the I got it. Yeah, yo bro. So I took this picture that day. Mm-hmm. No, it's Angela again. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Get in on that. Yeah, I know. I was. I literally live on that street. I live on mechanic. Like, look at the starburst effect on the. That's me. I took that. That's how close to being you, shot I was. Are you bragging about the starburst effect? Is that your work too? No, it's not. It's good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Man, you think we're. Want to get those back this year again? Or kind of like well, they're that? trickling in. You can see them. There's a, they're at um, the Shaskeen. They have them. And they have them at 603. And they have them um, down Lowell Street up a little bit. Um, that Right before the uh, Gaucho's place. And then they have them it's somewhere else. Gaucho's. But they're out there. They're getting there. I think the option is available to them if they want to... Um, you know, well, outdoor dining is kind of fun. You know, I'm, I'm looking to find one tomorrow night. So. Right, yeah. So I think what's happening at Blue Aqua is they don't want me to do the barriers again, so they just Probably for not. they're just forfeiting tons of money to make sure that I don't show up and paint again. <laughs> but no, downtown's in full swing, and I don't know if you guys know we are in what? lovely downtown Manchester, peak, and we are full our, swing. I know you're going to say we're in sundress season. Are we? Well, your special well, Friday. Can't what do you wait. mean? You wearing a sundress, Kyle? We can. No, but I'm a big fan of. <laughs> <laughs> You're pro sundresses. I mean, definitely a pro sundress. Right. Well, as two men have worn dresses, um, right? We've a, a couple times. We've addressed the situation. Oh. It's just it's free. You know what? I I respected my you know, ex girlfriend that night. Uh, I, you know, she was complaining that she didn't look good in the dress, so I put it on afterwards. And they, you really don't hide too much. No. Nope. You know, the spots of your body you don't like. It's like yep, yep, yep. There it is. Pretty. Let's get back to that. Um, you, what? you were, you, your girlfriend at the time said, I don't look good in this dress, so you put it on to I, say I how she looked better than you? We all consume a couple once in a while, you know? You no, know, I just wanted to know what it was like. <laughs> she was right. Yeah. 
We, it was my first time. You feel I, vulnerable. I did. What did we do that about a couple months ago on the morning show? It, it was my first time wearing a dress. It was freeing. You um, loved it. I loved it. My legs went for days. Um, <laughs> But I can see, yeah, you're right. You're right. It's hard to be a girl out there. You know, you got to look good, and it's not fair. Like, why do I get to look good? Some guys can just wear a baggy shirt and Bro, and, uh, and kill it. And just literally kill it. We're, we're, you can wear another man's blazer with bro. some cheap sunglasses from Walmart. Yeah. And you're like a king. I remember when I was single, and I would dress up to go out, and I'd go to, like, Charlie Peppers or something. <laughs> and you know, try to look good and then I, I'd swing and miss all night. But then I said, screw it, whatever. I literally wear wind pants, bowling shoes, and. Stolen? Bow, bowling shoes. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, you gotta rent them first, so it's kind of so. But they have your old shoes now. There's not much. Yeah, fair, it's a fair trick. No, it's very. Uh, there's not a lot of. Uh, no, it is not. It's <laughs> actually. It's actually. <laughs> It's actually hilarious. That uh, could actually be time efficient. Great but, point call. but at that point, it's like when the guy goes out not looking like he cares. It's like so much, it's somewhat of a confidence thing. Like girls are like, oh, this guy's got confidence wearing bowling shoes. You know, he doesn't even have lenses in his glasses. Incredible, dude. This is a TV trick. Oh, that's right. How's Whatever. my trick doing? You look, you look good. All right, thanks, man. You too. You a superstar, that. bro. Love you. Uh, Kyle, Kyle, let's talk about this. You're on your one-year anniversary as the co-host of The Morning Show on 95.3 FM. Uh, you were responsible for turning it into FM, I hear. Yep, it was... Um, oh, yeah, it was like... It wasn't even AM, it was like PM. Yeah, yeah, now it's FM, rocking it out. Um, so, yeah, so by, I believe it's tomorrow, um, which we will not be on. Is it tomorrow? Really? <laughs> um, and then later... In the week. Wow, you son of a gun. Wait, you is it the sixteenth? It. it might be the sixteenth is when I I had the desk for the first time. Would you say we've become like really good friends in that year? I would say we are moderately good friends, yes. Like would you say I'm in your top five best friends list? You can say that, yeah. Would you say it? <laughs> I will let you say that, yeah. Yeah. Yes. So Kyle, Michael, you are year it's gone from transistor radio to AM to ninety five point three. WMNH FM Radio. With Kyle Clayton. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you dress different, for sure. Well, I have Savers money now. I'm not I trying to brag. to say, good morning, Peter and Kyle. I like that. Have you been Here's practicing Peter that? Uh, I, I do a really terrible uh, accent for some nights. Don't, I don't. I'm an alter ego named Trevor. <laughs> four, four, four. It's all right. I'm Carl. That's, um, what are you, Bonzo? <laughs> Bonzo and Carl, yeah. I used the uh, the name I was supposed to be that between the parents when they were fighting when I was born. So Trevor's my uncle. <laughs> yeah, but look at you now. You're a Kyle. I like that. I worked out. Except for when my parents decided to put all of our initials on the license. And, uh, well, they named Kelly. <laughs> no Kyle. way. Kelly King Kyle. So we Nuh-uh. Kyle. No way. Hey, you want to space those up, bud? You're yeah, kidding, we right? That through. That's amazing. <laughs> they made a license plate, too? It was AD dash KKK. Doesn't work very well. Like add, bring like bring one more on. Like (laughs) add one. Jeez. Oh wow, you handled that well. Yeah, we only had that like (laughs) for one year. Um, Yeah, because you have to. uh, It's for a year. It's a year. Yeah. Well, in the winter you can cover up with snow. True. Isn't that hard as like parents? It's amazing. Like, (laughs) especially when you try to yell at a kid and they all have similar. um, I mean, you guys, you have CC. I, yeah, I have CC. So I, I respond to Cam, when some, especially when someone's yelling. Oh, let's call him. Because I just assume they mean me, but they're so frustrated they can't can we call remember him? my name. Can you call my brother? Yeah. You can, yeah, I guess you're running the show, bud. Well, we'll see if you can. can we call my brother? Sure. All right, call him up. Oh, on, on Facebook. You don't even well, know his number? Have, yeah, everyone's got everyone's number. I, I, you're right. I don't know it. Yeah, I can't call him because we're not friends. Are you still friends with him? <laughs> yeah, we're pretty tight. Yeah, it's good. Text him the number. See yeah, him yeah, call him up. Uh, we'll get to the bottom of this, this KKK thing. What, that's not us. That's oh yeah, it's the that's Heavey that's family. That. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not funny, but it is weird to like whoopsie daisy like type of thing. I don't know what they're thinking. I'm sure they didn't think it through. That's all. It's I think it was like Connect Four, and I didn't realize until they were. Like three way up, like I don't know. You can't petition. Kyle, look at the screen if you need. 
That's amazing. Giving you Thanks, your own brother's number. I, no, no, no. It's the number I'm, for the station. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, you think that, like, if you accidentally say, like a, like, a mistake getting your license plate, you could be like, I would like to not do this for a year. Uh, yeah. Can I petition? I bet. I bet. You have to pay an extra, I want to say, like, $20 or something like that. I, I had a, <laughs> 20 to $50, I believe. Yeah, I, I remember... That same ex that I wore a dress did the same thing. She's like, oh, I don't want this life anymore. It looks stupid. So what, why did you guys break up, Kyle? Uh, <laughs> I um, was very Rude. into my career and wanted to, I was going to accept the job in, uh, where was it? Dubai? Duluth, Minnesota. Oh. And she didn't like that. She didn't want to move there. She wanted me to stay here. And things just kind of started to go haywire. And well, let me tell you something. That's a company guy right there. Let me tell you something. That's a company. I've lost everything for the for the, the business as well, Kyle. It's all right. That's, you know, I'm glad it, she's well. No regrets. Yeah, the the thing well. is, the thing is, when love slaps you in the mouth and really gets you, you kind of think twice about going to Duluth without your girl. I, I don't think she was the one, Kyle. You know, I, I'm sorry that, you know, you guys broke up, but I think, like, you know, the Duluth thing was, like, probably a blessing in disguise, was it not? I personally have seen Kyle crushed at the rover. Don't worry. He's doing just fine. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. You guys can't see him, but he's very handsome. All you do is Google him. <laughs> just Google him. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just... Um, I mean, it's nice being handsome. My, my parents thought highly of her. My sister still lives near her family, and... Uh, I wish her nothing but the best. Is I have no hard feelings. It's just uh, she wasn't the right one. The funny thing is now she lives in Duluth, Minnesota. No, no. <laughs> I, I don't know where she was. No, I see what you're saying. She just went anyway. She just went anyway. You lived there, though, in Minnesota, huh? Uh, I didn't go there. I went to Des Moines. Oh, okay. That's, but not, it was that's not Minnesota at all. It, but it was, no, it was the threat of leaving, and then it led to, like, real issues. Oh, where are you from? Uh, Weymouth, Massachusetts. Okay. You can't tell? Yeah. He's got that Weymouth, Weymouth written all over him. Yeah, he's a good guy, though. Well, dude, don't tell me that. Um, nothing but I'm good Kyle. I lived here well, off and on for like five. I lived here for two, and then I moved away, and then lived in Concord for a bit, and then I've been back in Manchester <laughs> for like four. Something to be said about being single, though. Really. That's, that's pretty cool. It's not been the easiest during <laughs> COVID, but, you know, like, Get through. Yeah, I mean, you know, um, you can call me, buddy. Whatever you want. They're coming on. Uh, they're coming back with COVID. I hear. They're who's they? It's it's what's for dinner now. <laughs> like, guess who's coming to dinner? It's COVID, guys. Um, sixty-seven percent of Manchester is vaccinated. Does that seem high or low to you? That seems about par for the course. About right. I yeah. would say, yeah. I, would. I mean, there's that push. There's a big push to get vaccinated in the beginning. I did because I wanted to go to Florida, and uh, Same. I got the second one because I said you have to. I I didn't. I didn't boost, bro. You're not boosting, but and we're I I chew my fingers so I have a good immune system. I don't. Yep, that's. You cannibal? No, it's just like how I in, inject um, germs. <laughs> That's science, Kyle. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to look that up. Well, if you think about it, it's true. Like I didn't realize how many Michael Gonzalez's were in actually New Hampshire until I just looked it up trying to find your football stats. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> drop the Z and add an S. You'll find me. You know, you, you, I, I didn't know you played soccer at SNHU. Oh, uh, good for you. You went to college? Bro, I Googled myself. I'm all over the board. What are you talking about? I'm in Inklink like 25 times. Oh, it's bad when you Google me. Yeah, I saw that. Um, no, it's a it's a movie with um. It's called World's Greatest Dad or something, and the son is Kyle Clayton with Robin Williams in it. Um, you can use that on your own time. We'll not elaborate on that. Right. But uh, yeah, it's I'm not even. Yeah, you had some dark days, huh? That was not me. I'm not even like the top <laughs> ten pages. How? Yeah. I don't know. I I don't make the Google. If you write Clayton in Google, what comes up? John Clayton from ESPN. Do they come out? You have to put. <laughs> he, he's actually a goner now. Did but you know that? He's not there anymore. He died. Yeah, he's not there anymore. Yeah, it sucks. I love that guy. Did you really? No. He's all right. I don't care. 
I would just like how half the shows you just googling stuff. Well, it's, people die. That's true. Wow. And some of us move on and try and do a show. Oh, your your uncle's still alive, thank God. That is also true. Love you, Uncle John. Boy, he's got some uh, accomplishments. Are you just <laughs> we're just gonna let you? <laughs> I mean, it, <laughs> wow. On, okay, so we Go have on. a young John Clayton. We'll, we'll do a young and an old one like Angela Lansbury. Oh boy. Nah, we'll leave John Clayton alone. What a power couple that would have been. Huh? Sometimes I feel like he always watches everything. Imagine that much writing going on. <laughs> <laughs> They've been writing love letter novels. To oh each my other. god, incredible! John. A young John, and young, younger tan AF. He goes to Florida. Nice dude. That's a handsome man. Yeah, I mean, good jawline. Look at that grip. Oh, we're not. <laughs> is that a Killian's? That, that. that Killian's? You think? I don't know. What do you think it is? It's a beer. Is it's a that's that's an amber. Looks like circa nineteen ninety three. No. There's only a couple ambers out there at that point. I don't think the glass. Sixty four. I mean, that's that's incredible, and it looks like a Scottish Scottish beer. Yeah, I'm I'm guessing Killian's. Killian's made a big push for a while in the nineties. Um, let's get a modern day pick. Yeah, take your time. You're really, I'm proud of you, buddy. Thanks, we did it, man. Um, and we're still doing it. We're entertaining, you know, that's all we got. Doing th- it, doing it, doing it. Yep. And we're I love Cool J, baby. I love Cool K. How's he doing? He's representing he's Queens. CSI, like, <laughs> Los Angeles or something, so. It, so he's got a job. Steady income. That's that's positive. You know, he, he didn't make it to Hollywood, but he's making it on, on TV. Uh, TV's Hollywood. I mean, he's... What's his biggest movie? He was in uh, SWAT. He was in great uh, film. Um, uh, Jamie Fox and he's a quarterback. Uh, the, not oh, sun, any given Sunday. Any given Sunday, yeah. Huge film. Um, I feel like just right here we're like we're like double A Hollywood right now. Which is in the Absolutely. <laughs> now I we're have, gonna get there, guys. I we'll have, get the call. Another Clayton here. Who oh, come on. Just made the Central Hall of Fame. I just want to congratulate Max Clayton for being in the Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Max. Now, I played sports and I didn't get in, so I don't know. It must be hard to get in that. And I think it's cool. Um, yeah, he's Broadway, in, right? He's in Broadway. You know, is you it s- a voting thing? I mean, I'm not a, I don't know how God, he's works. handsome as heck. I have no idea how that works. Man, no, man. Um, how do you guys do it? How do the Clintons get so handsome? How we sell our souls. <laughs> they say my, um, money breeds beauty, so... Uh, I don't have any money. Yeah, why? What is that? Because I, I, I live alone. I, I didn't go to school, and I, I, I do this a lot. Yeah, but you're killing it. This is a hot month for you. It is a hot month for me. Every May, Kyle, uh, Kyle's single... I'm not I'm married, so I kind of just watch you guys do the thing, and uh, but I, I'm happy for Kyle. You know, um, he's killing it with the girls. He's doing really well socially. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Let's just say he um, he he <laughs> carries around a toothbrush in his back pocket wherever whenever he goes out at night. I girls always appreciate fresh breath. That is true. I'm a, I don't think that's sanitary, dude. Right. What? What? To brush your teeth? No, just to keep a toothbrush in your back pocket. Um, it's done, is it not? If you're an artist, though, I am not. Right. Sometimes I brush my teeth with a paintbrush. Huh. And that explains a lot. A new one. I mean, is it lead paint? It's better than nothing. That's true. You got me there. So, yeah, this has been. Uh, thanks, John Hopwood, for letting us do oh, this. Do you smile for a second, Gonzo? Yeah, I need some <laughs> yellow in there. Can you not zoom so far? <laughs> that was really good. I, I almost said. swore that. I cut. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you get out here and do it now, okay? And I'll zoom on you. We'll turn the table. I am conscious aware of my It's poor easy teeth. being the wizard, okay? I don't brush my teeth. With my yeah, do Kyle now. Do Kyle. You're not going to do me. I'm not going to show my teeth. I don't know. Whatever. Sorry, I, guys. No, you don't have to be sorry, Kyle. You're doing great. I was trying to give content. No, uh, it's great uh, content. Last night, guys, if you know the story, it doesn't uh, have to hurt people's feelings. Ladies <laughs> that were dating each other, and uh, 
they got into a fight, broke up at the bar, and I had to drive each one of them home separately, and they lived together. And then I had, to, I had to stay the night as a peacekeeper because I didn't want anyone fighting anymore. And I became like the father last night to these two ladies that were not happy with each other. And you know them, right? Yes, I know them both. And I was like, all right, hey, Earth, do you want to talk about the Celtics? Hey, do you want to talk about Bob they, Marley? What do we want to talk about? Big game tonight. So what what, what bar were you at? Were you at the... Yeah. Uh, I was at the Concord. Okay. Right, that was your first mistake. Separate rides. Separate rides. Who's, so wait, you <laughs> who's your favorite? The first ride or the second ride? You uh, went? Neither. All right. Do they live in Concord? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. And you had to sleep in the middle of them in the bed, right? Uh, I stayed on the couch. and I. Was oh, how do you mediate from the couch? Because it was 3.30 in the morning. I said, I'm out. Verbal, awesome. verbal cues. I was a possum. I <laughs> played dead. And then I realized, oh, I can escape now. So you do marriage advice too? Could I give you a buzz at... If I'm if, work, if I'm arguing with my wife, all right. Well, um, that can have this kind of soothing, I'll, I'll relaxing. It is your voice. It's reassuring. I'll take the um, the zoom in, please, while I wrap this up. Yes. Um, I'll also take a zoom in, Kyle. Please, thank you. Um, wait a minute. I'll take the zoom in. Kyle, it's my show. All right. I'll take five seconds, please. Give him a little bit. Okay, now it's me. That's good. I'm fine. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, for John Hopwood and his back, have a good day. We hope to see you back, John. I'll be back. Don't worry. Praying for you, buddy. Praying for you. Right, give Kyle one more. <laughs>